<laughs> so this is XY mode in a uh, uh, oscilloscope, so I can kind of zero beat these two. One oscillator is going in one side, one oscillator is the X and the Y, and uh, you get uh, you get a signal like this, and you can go uh, say double the frequency on one of them, and you get a figure eight. Uh, I think people have seen this before. Okay, so um, the reason for this video is that this really, really fancy, expensive oscilloscope uh, does XY mode really, really, really poorly. <laughs> so um, let me show you that. Okay, uh, so here we have the same uh, same display on a uh, Rigel MSO 5000 type scope. Yeah, so I can get it to and get it to go to zero here. Oops, a bit titchy. Anyway, you can see that the, the, the line is really, really fat and it's just, it just doesn't work well. Uh, and you can change the uh, sampling rate of the scope and it, it just never, it never got good. Anybody who's owned one of these scopes knows this problem. It is a known problem and it just, it's totally unusable. Now, um, I've been told that the latest firmware fixes this problem, or at least they claim to. The, the uh, release notes on the latest firmware says that it changes the graphics for XY mode. So uh, yeah, let's give that a try. Um, so we'll go into utility system, options list, local upgrade. Local upgrade? Upgrade system firmware, okay. Do not remove the USB disk. Power off or operate the oscilloscope during the process. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna remove the signals. It is uh, upgrading. Upgrade complete, please reboot. Okay, I think by reboot they mean uh, turn it on and off. 100%, please reboot, okay. Um, you're supposed to do a self-cal after this as well um, because it changes some other things about the DC gains and stuff, I think, if I read the, I read the release notes correctly. But I just wanna try this out quickly to see if XY mode is fixed and then I'll do a self-cal off camera and I just want to let you guys know this was now available and we'll see if it actually uh, is worth doing or not. All right, there, all right, there we go. Uh, here's the upgrade. Uh, let's see if I can kind of make this stop, make, go, make it go. Uh, it's kind of hard to get uh, these old analog uh, tracking generators or uh, generators to uh, go to a particular, there we go. Yeah, so it fixes it. So there you go. If, so if you own one of these MSL 5000s, definitely upgrade the software. Definitely, definitely. I think it came out in October or something like that. It's, uh, let's see here, version system about, uh, yeah, the firmware is 1.03.00.03. Um, uh, build was 21. It fixes the problem. And, oh, look at that. I bang the, bang the desk, my, uh, my uh, Tektronics uh, generator kind of. I'm using this, uh, I'm using this generator down here and uh, it's just an analog one and then I'm using my uh, synthesized one there so it's spot on, but yeah, here we go. Looks great. So uh, very happy with that. And uh, yeah, where's the upgrade?